good morning friends let's start with our first chapter where we will do all the installations and project setup for the installation because we will be creating a, a maven project on intellij with java 21 so first of all we will install java 21 then maven and then intellij if you don't have uh, because only the latest version of intellij that will support java 21 and then finally we will set up our maven project uh, inside intellij so let's go with the very first java 21 installation just open the google search page and just type java 21 download and then you will come up with various uh, we can install open jdk from java.net so i will go with oracle java downloads just click this and then you will be appearing you will see this page uh, with java 21 and java 17 available now so here, based on your OS, because I would be using Windows here, so I will go to Windows. And then in Windows, we have got, uh, we can install the compressed uh, archive or we can do installer or MSI installer. So I'll go with X, uh, ours, because my OS is 64 bits. I think most of the OS right now are 64 bits. Uh, very, very old systems would be having 32 bit OS. So by default, it's always 64. Uh, that's why I just go here and then click on this button. By clicking on this button, it will download the JTK21 uh, installer exe. Installing that uh, using this installer file is very straightforward. Just follow the defaults and uh, just once th this is all installed, uh, the JTK21 will be inst installed in your C program files, Java JTK21. So if you go here, this is where we, it will be installed and in the bin directory, we would be having all those Java binaries. Once this is all done, the next step is that we have to set our Java home variable, this Java underscore home system variable, uh, pointing to the pointing to the latest uh, JDK21 folder as we have installed here. And also we have to set the same in the path. So editing the system variable is straightforward again. Just go to the search button here and type edit system variable. And just click add the edit system variable, just go to environment variables and here you will see user variables for me and the system variables. So I normally prefer to go and update the system variables. Uh, so just go here. I already installed, uh, put the Java underscore home variable as JDK21. And similarly, for the path, I have already set as Java home percent percent uh, slash bin because this will take, uh, take as a variable and then it will include the bin directory from where we can launch Java, Java C and Java virtual machine from anywhere in the command line. So this is what we have to do and our Java installation would be done. Once this is done, uh, so after that, just need to verify that whether it's all working or not. So we can open a command prompt here. So I'll open a command prompt, CMD, and the command prompt is open here. Let me expand it. And that, then uh, let's check for the Java version. First of all, I will check whether my Java home is set correctly. So for that, I will just type this percent home percent. And when I parse it, it will be showing me the, J J the JDK21 where I have installed it. After that, I can also verify that whether my Java version is correct. So I will type Java minus version. So it's showing me Java version 21 here. So it's all good again. And finally, I can also check my compiler version. For that, we have got Java C minus version. Again, it's Java 21. So all this ensures that my Java has been installed correctly, pointing to the correct Java underscore home. This Java underscore home is required so that the Maven and IntelliJ also can uh, refer from this variable that where what is the, uh, the Java version that it needs to refer to. Now our Java 21 version is already installed in my system and uh, I can refer it with the Java home. Now let's go with Maven installation. Again, open the Google page and here just type Maven download. When you click on Maven download, just to look at this Apache Maven, uh, this site. And once you click on this site, it will open this one. And because I'm using Windows again, so I will just use the binary, this binary zip archive file. When you click on this binary zip file, as you can see that that .zip file is created here and it will be downloaded to your system. Once you download this binary zip archive file of Apache Maven latest version, and after this, just extract it to a particular folder in your in your local directory. For for example, for for me, I have chosen into C colon Maven, and here it goes. So after after uh, extracting it, after you unzip this uh, zip file, 
you should be uh, placing it here somewhere and the and uh, here i would again will be having a bin directory uh, where we have got all those maven commands that we'd be using normally we'll be using mbn command once this is all done then after that we have to set again the same as java underscore home version similarly for maven we have to set two system variables m2 underscore home and maven underscore home system variables so, so following the same approach i have already set it here so my m2 underscore home as you can see the snapshot here i set it to the to the folder where i have extracted the apache maven 3.904 and i have set maven home also same as m2 home because both should be similar and after that i have set my path variable as maven home slash pen so after this it means that our maven has been installed and then we can again verify it on the cmd so so let's open cmd and verify our maven version so i will just go again here to cm type cmd for command prompt and once we are here i will type mvn minus small v and then it would be showing me that apache maven the latest version has been installed uh, and we can uh, launch this mvn command from there so after this is done we have installed java 21 now and maven and now let's our next step is to in install intellij so the first thing is that if we have already got a previous version of IntelliJ, in that case, you can just click on for updates and then you can update the latest version from there. But in, in case if you haven't downloaded it before, so again, we are going to have the same approach where we will uh, download it from uh, from the IntelliJ uh, idea site. So just again, open the Google prompt and here just type IntelliJ download, IntelliJ download. So just go to the JetBrains site. So once I click this here, so it would be giving me the latest version of IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate and as well as Community Edition. For this course, I don't want you to like pay any license or anything. We can just use the community version, which is good enough. Here, when you go it, just download the exe file. Just click on the download also. It will be downloading the, uh, the exact IntelliJ IDEA. And after that, you can just follow the same approach just click on double click on that exe file and then you will be able to uh, extract it and just follow the defaults it's, it's a very straightforward process so once you have got IntelliJ just please remember that the latest version this version which is 2023.2.2 this was released on 13th of September and only this version supports Java 21 so always just refer I mean you have to install the latest version otherwise the previous version will not be able to uh, choose the language level for Java 21 so this is important. So this is all about IntelliJ. We don't have to set up any path and everything else. So as mentioned that if we have already got IntelliJ open before, so after um, you don't need to uh, actually uh, download it again, just check for updates. So I have just updated my, my system IntelliJ. I just click on help and check for updates and I was able to download this idea 2023.2.2 version, which supports JTK21 and this is how it looks like so i've already got some uh, some sample test cases which we'll cover later in details so just go here if you check on help so this is what i was talking about when you check for updates it will check for the latest updates and it will download it into uh, the latest version automatically and this is the final version that uh, we would that you will see once you install everything so this is the community version released on september 13 and it supports uh jdk 21. so right now we have got everything set up we have got java version 21 installed in our system with java home uh, properly marked to this uh, this new version we have got latest maven version of 3.904 as available now and now we have also installed intellij now in the next video we will see that how to set up this project using the maven builds so we'll create, go through the pom.xml in details where we'll see how to set up a java 21 project so see you all in the next video